Hey everyone, I'm Zephyr, and welcome to the next episode of my beginner tutorial series to After Effects. In this video, I'd like to show you a few new things, uh, all related to animation and effects, because the name of the program is After Effects, so you probably should know a little bit about that. So before I begin, you are going to want to open up the project that you made with me last episode, episode 3. If you don't have it, please just uh, recreate it. Go to episode 3 on the description or on, on the video and just create this. It's a very simple little project. And I'll be using that a little bit more in my video, so I encourage you to follow along in After Effects. So let's get started. The first thing I want to show you is just expand both of these and we see our keyframes that we made earlier drag on on them and right click and then click keyframe assistant or just hover over it and then click easy ease now you notice that the shape changes right here what this does is it basically makes it a little bit smoother it'll start out slower and then it'll speed up then it'll end slower so that way it is a little bit more natural I guess now if you want to see it graphically um, you can see that it it goes a little bit faster than slower than faster than slower don't worry about the graph I'll, I'll talk about that later so easy ease is really good for making it look a little bit a little bit more natural so I encourage you to do that most of the time at least if you want to change it back just grab them go to uh, keyframe interpolation and choose linear but I'll keep them this way so that's the first thing with animation now I want to animate something that we didn't do before I'm going to add it a little bit of movement at the end because what you see here is that it goes like this and then it stops okay and then what now we need something more to happen so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another keyframe here by moving it a little bit more wait what side does it come from okay it comes that way we're gonna move it like that like that that much so it's still moving and we're gonna do the same to this one we're just gonna afterwards move it a little bit So it goes like this. Actually, this needs to continue moving the entire time. Let's see. I want to check how it looks. Okay, this is a little too fast. How about that? Okay, it's not too natural just because they're coming in at opposite times if you wanted it to look more natural just go like this yeah that, that looks a little bit better now we're going to change these from easy ease to linear just because that looks better right now okay so that kinda gives us a little glimpse there I'm just kinda trying to check it looks a little bit choppy for some reason not why I'm not sure why whatever so whoa that's not what I asked for whatever alright so that's uh kind of just a tip to kind of keep it moving a little bit because that looks a bit more natural okay that's the problem it still comes in later why is that not sure why okay anyways oh it's closer together that's why that looks a bit more natural Okay, so let's just ignore that for a second. 
and let's move on to some effects I just want to show you a couple of effects uh, go to effect up here actually you have to click a layer first effect and go down to stylize glow and move it forward so you see it adds a glow right here and so you can just change all these kinds of options and stuff right here down to color A and color B let's go down to like this color and then choose that color alright so then we're gonna click here glow colors and choose A and B colors so it will be using these for the glow instead of the white and black and let's copy this filter by control C and paste it right here so as we can see you added an effect your first effect very quickly very easily and there you go um, something else I want to show you is here if you create a new composition it gets stored in the same overall file so you can have multiple compositions I have a second composition here with a, a clip from Blacklight Retribution and so it's just a guy running or something so what I'm gonna do is do another effect color correction curves and this is this allows us to kind of play around with the settings make a little more mysterious whoa that's that's weird um, how about that that looks kinda cool generally a, a higher contrast more dark but yeah I kind of messed it up though so let's go back to the original curve and say turn that up turn that down that looks pretty good I like the dark look and then how the lights make it look so you can just play around with that alright so that's kind of a little color correction thing I'm just showing you some different effects that you can do um, and I, I encourage you to go yourself and try effects out and find out what they do and that way you can experiment a little bit more in the next episode I'm going to be showing you a, a transition and something cool with this project here I'd encourage you to save it after you're done so you can open up for the next video and I'll be do undoing some stuff and changing the theme around and I'll introduce masking to you so that'll be pretty cool if you enjoyed this episode please give it a like that really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see the next episode of this series alright guys have a good day